Well, hello everybody. It's Leanne Graff with today's live video. Every Tuesday morning at 11 a.m. Central Time, I have a live class, um, a free class for you, showing you techniques and ideas, mostly cards. I tend to focus on cards. Um, it's what most of us like to do. So, all right, let me know if you're here. Let me, um, tell me where you're from, if it's your first time here, and, um, or maybe you're watching later on my YouTube channel, which reminds me, I do have a new YouTube channel. It's under my name. Um, my old email and YouTube channel was hijacked, so I am under different email and YouTube. So, if you were following me on YouTube, please go to my new channel and subscribe. I would appreciate that. Um, it'll take a while to build up those subscribers again, but um, I'm on it. I'm going to go for it. And I can't stop doing videos because I get a lot of great comments from you that you appreciate the videos. So, um, all right, I'm trying to get my laptop synced up here. And it's having some issues. Hmm, oh, there we go. Okay, I think. I think I've got it. All right. Good morning, everybody. Hi. Thanks for joining me and taking time out of your day to stamp with me or watch with me, <laughs> one or the other. All right. So these are the prizes that are for last week's video for people who commented and or uh, shared. So the person who shared will win the five cards. Now this is from the Fitting Florets bundle. This was one of my kits to go. And I love making my kits to go. I, 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 it's so fun to grab like the paper, a ribbon and embellishments and just create. And you limit yourself. I, I always limit myself to just greetings um, for the most part for my, so everybody can make these um, with whatever they have. So anyway, this is the for sh uh, sharing. And the winner of that was Nikki Bame. I don't think she's on yet. And Nancy Korb will receive the cardstock sampler. So this is um, something Stampin' Up! offered um, demonstrators a while back and they've run out. I have just a few left, so she's gonna get this sent to her, Nancy is. So congratulations, gals. Thank you so much um, for today's prizes. I'm not gonna tell you what they are because they're gonna be pre-cut kits that I make or that I'm actually making today for both sharing and commenting. So remind me please <laughs> to uh, mention that again when I'm making the project. I don't want to I want to I want to surprise you. So hi Debbie, hi Karen. Thank you Karen for sharing already. I appreciate that. Um, so we are currently in celebration and that runs through February 23rd. As of now, everything is still available. You know that it is while supplies last. So everything in here could run out at any time. So um, if you have your eye on something, be sure to order. You get something free with every $50 or every $100 that you spend. Um, on Stampin' Up! products and that runs through September. The other promotion going on with with uh, Celebration is the join offer. So you right now you're getting an extra $50 free with the join offer and Rita is on today and Rita is a new member of the Flower Bugs. So she took advantage of the join offer um, and I don't know if you chose the little mini or not. You have the option of of choosing a blue or a white mini machine with your kit. So without the machine, it costs $99 and you get $175 in product. If you choose to get the machine, the little mini die cut machine, you pay $129 and you still get $175 in products plus this. So you're getting this at half price because it's a $63 value and you paid about $30. So yeah, it's awesome deals right now. We have added 12 people to our team. No, 13, we had another one yesterday. 13 people to our team so far this uh, month and we're not even into the, almost to the end of January. So it's awesome, love growing my team. We do, we have a fun time on our group. Okay, the other thing that's happening is, my, I, this is my free gift for $55 or more minimum orders. 
online. Here's my host code. So if you need something, please um, use one of the host codes and I'll send you one of these um, in with your thank you card. I'm also offering a uh, designer paper share. Every single paper, with the exception of the host paper, is in here. So it's 95 sheets, including all the specialty papers. So yeah, there's some really cool specialty papers with foil accents and uh, iridescence and gold and silver and yeah, and textured, yeah, awesome. So with those, I do send this so they have a list of all of the colors that are in each paper. So they don't have to always look it up. So that is $34.50 plus shipping for long distance people. And you can get it on my um, tutorial shop right here. So that's where this is at. And if you add on some more pro extra product, it will count towards celebration. So message me for that option. That um, That's always a good option. And, and same with the kits. I do have some kits to go left from last month. Um, if you want to add on, you can get earned celebration items and get it sent all together. Okay, I think, I think that's all the, oh, wait, there's one more thing, paper pumpkin. So this month we have something brand new. We have a set of dies for paper pumpkin subscribers. A first ever die add-on and it matches the kit, um, the, the stamps that are in the kit and the kit is called Sunshine and Smiles. And one thing about getting paper pumpkin during celebration is you can earn an extra, a free celebration item. So when you earn a, when you order a three month a prescription or a six month or a 12 month, then always be sure to get those during uh, celebration so you can get something free with it. And every month it's already paid for then. You pay one time and it keeps coming and then you can get all the fun add-ons that are part of paper pumpkin. So yeah, um, oh, I should have brought those cards over. I made a bunch of cards. I don't know where they're at right now. I was taking pictures. So I'll share them though. I made a bunch of cards using the good, good things add-on cards and envelopes last month. So yeah, it's fun. Oh, a couple things that are not available right now with Stampin' Up! They are out of stock are the Stylish Shapes dies, the Framed Florets dies, which I'm using today, of course. The Country Bouquet Punch, that's the new punch with the heart and leaves. A red and burlap ribbon combo, gold distressed paper, and the Quatrefoil Tile Embossing Folder. Now some of these are not gonna be back for another month. And so, um, yeah. Oh, you got the die already, Kathleen? Yes, so did I. Yeah, oh, you're welcome, Susan. I'm glad you liked the cards that I sent you last time. Yeah, it's fun to get pre-made cards in your hand because then you have something you can copy exactly and you can measure it and you can, you know, a fun fold or a design or a layout. So yeah, it is fun. Uh, my screen is frozen. How is the rest of yours? I'm just hoping it's not frozen for everybody. Okay, I think I'm okay now. All right, okay, let's get started. So the project I have today is a card folio. And I know I've shared one recently, but this is different. And this I'm really excited about because I created this um, based off a smaller one. So I changed the measurements, changed the design. I love to do that. Um, it's a challenge, you know, to change measurements and make it work. So my husband helps me though. Oh good, thank you, Joan and Karen. Um, and Roxanne for letting me know your screen is fine. So this is my card folio. Isn't it beautiful? It is Pool Party with Blackberry Bliss. And the paper that I used on this and the inside, here are the cards that I added. See how they slide into this? It's a no glue a folio. So it's different than the other one that I shared a few months back where this one fits A2 size cards, full size. I saw one online that was for note cards and I'm like, I need to make one for full side cards, size cards. So, um, so it was a little bit of a challenge. I'll explain why in a minute, but um, using the framed florets bundle, and that is, this is beautiful stamps and greetings along with the dies. The dies are the ones that are not available right now and they may not be back until March. 
sometimes they're back earlier but you know with the shipping issues and i guess you know people they're just having a lot of places are having a hard time with the shipping so the designer paper that i used on these cards is on page 179 of the annual catalog and it's a free host paper called design a daydream did you know in the back of all of our catalogs well the mini and this one the spring one and the annual there are a number of um, free items that you can get and they've been doing these big packs of 12 by 12 paper 48 sheets and this is the one I used here for all this paper. So just so you know where I got everything. Okay, so let's start with the folio. Um, where did my, oh yeah, here it is. Okay, so this is what, sorry, this is the door prize for this week. So the door prize is a whole packet like this of pre-cut items for two cards, um, envelopes and the folio so that's for sharing and commenting so get get the word out for me if you can on my videos if you enjoy them so you know what I'm not gonna start with the folio we're gonna start with the stamping so in the kit I put all of my stamped white pieces in the front because we're gonna use the stamp rattus so this was the project that people made at my open house a few, um, well, a few weeks ago. So they were able to come and stamp and take home their project. Okay, so let me get my ink out. And the other thing they got, and you will also receive, is the entire project sheet with the pictures of the cards, the directions, the products that I used, and the um, dimensions and directions. So that will come with the, the make and take that I'm going to send a few winners. All right, so here is the stamp set that we're using and the inks. I use Blackberry Bliss and uh, Pool Party. Okay, so what, what I asked my gals to do was to insert, and sometimes it's the ovals are not exactly perfect ovals. Insert your piece here in the frame. So I left a frame um, for them to insert that. And this is a punch piece, lasting label punch, I believe. Insert that in there, make sure it's nice and flat. Then, this was so easy with the stamp apparatus for repeated stamping, it just makes life so easy. Okay, so just going to ink and then press. Okay, and perfect placement every time. Okay, so that one's done. I'm gonna quickly, they're already stained because I use Black Brave Bliss. That's just the nature of um, purple and red ink. I don't, I wish it didn't happen, but it does. Okay, then for the other one, and they do get very sticky, these photopolymers. Okay, that one's gonna go in here. I love that. Once you get these placed, and you can test them to make sure that they stay in place. There you go, and this one is in Pool Party. Thank you, Cindy. Asil, I, I'm glad you like this. I do too. I really, really like these folios. They are just the best way to give gifts. Okay, so we've got our stamping done. And you know that if this comes apart, you know you can just put this back in place, center it because you have the stamped one down, and then just, I put electrical tape on mine. Uh, washi doesn't work hold as well for me, so that is ready for another time. I'll just clean that, and I always use a stamp set under my, um, so it has some something to lay on when I'm stamping. So that's the Stamparatus, just so fun. Yeah, um, it just makes, and if it, if it didn't work out, I could have re-inked and stamped again and had all those ready, so. Now I know that I need one more. Oh, oh shoot, I didn't bring it over. Hmm, hold on a second. Let me see if it's in here. I did put it back, hold on. On the front, let me bring back the folio. Huh. Put it way across the table. There's the front. So 
Let me get my block and I need to stamp the leaves on this piece right here. So that is in Pool Party. Just finishes off this um, big, large, nice, large oval. Filling it in, it's so pretty. Love that set. So that is the Framed Florets stamp set. And yes, there are dies, and the dies are all the ovals that I'm using here. Um, they are unavailable at the current moment, so they will be back, but it's gonna be a, maybe a month or two. So this is my measurement. So. Let me get the folio out and we will make that. This is how it comes. Scoot that aside, scoot those over. Lots of room needed on this one. So you're going to fold, and this is, um, this is, well, formerly, we used to sell years ago textured paper, and I had a bunch of this uh, textured 12 by 12 paper left over from, I, I mean, I when I have a favorite color and it comes in 12 by 12, like Pool Party is one of my favorites, I got quite a bit of it. Because <laughs> you could always use 12 by 12 in scrapbooking or projects like this. Okay, so this is, my measurements back here for you. This is five and seven eighths tall. Now the reason being is because this is the 12 by 12 paper, the uh, Design a Daydream. So the reason being is, and I'm gonna do this on the front, is this is only 12 inch, and once you fold around something, you lose, by the time I do it twice, you lose, oh, my cats are playing, um, you lose enough that you it wouldn't meet here. So I had to shorten this to five and seven eighths in order for this to meet. So that's why the, oof, that's coming out fast. <laughs> uh, maybe they're not playing, that one's growling. So, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more here and just meet that. So this is what holds the folio closed. And I can actually, I, sh I normally would put a little adhesive over here and I'm just gonna add a little bit in there and then and the other piece, and the reason I'm putting this on the front is because my ribbon will cover it up. So I purposely do not score here, I just fold. And I'm folding over both layers, okay? And I'm actually going to go ahead and add a little adhesive while I do this. Okay, so this is such a great way, and I only put two cards in here, but you could easily fit four. It will fit four without a problem. So just stretch that pretty tight, even it up, there you go. So now we have pockets for our cards. So isn't that neat? Yeah, it is a neat design, thank you. Okay, so now the ribbon. So that's why I left my, uh, where the designer paper met there. So what you want to do, well, and I want I want this to be even, but I also want to add some tear and tape, and I like to add it to my ribbon instead of to the project. I can, I know I can move the ribbon, and I can't always move the project. So I mean, I well maybe I'll do it here. I'll try it. So I'm going to cover up as straight as I can. And the thing about tear and tape is you need to burnish your ends and then this comes across off really nicely. So now I'm going to pull those taut so they're even and then press. Okay. And if it doesn't line up exactly, I do have a little time to play before I burnish it heavily. So I don't like to burnish or to add tear and tape on the on the, um, the, the seam, this right here. I don't know, it just, um, it might buckle as I go across. So we're going to 
And there's a little bit of play because this is three eighths and this is probably a quarter. So just burnish the ends and then you can easily peel those up. All right, so I'm going to just lightly press that on there and then make sure that this isn't buckling here. So now it's not, so I'm gonna press that on very well. Okay, there we go. And oh, I forgot to bring over my punch, but this is um, just a rectangle of Black Braid Bliss or in its uh, three and three quarter by five. And I use the very best trio punch on each corner. And those are already done for everybody. So that's all I'm going to do. Let me get, bring this back in. I'll put it over here so you can see. So I'll just fold that flat. And I, you can decide if you're centering this on the blue or I'm just doing the entire thing centering it so covering up a little bit of that designer paper and then this it looks like I didn't punch out all these little holes yet and I don't want to add them until I do so hold bear with me here okay when I do a lot of die cutting I'm like oh they can they can punch out their holes I don't always do it for everybody <laughs> A little bit of my speed and um, whatnot <laughs> comes in play. Okay, so to put this on, there's some larger areas and I just want a little bit, I don't want this to be peeking out as it glues. On the ends, there's some larger bits that I'm more comfortable adding. I don't do it everywhere. Just on these four corners. You could do more if you want to. Ooh, there we go, a little bit too much. Okay. All right, so hard thing about oval, getting it centered. I'm gonna use my ribbon as a guide. Okay, so that's that. And then this will get popped up. How to add dimension, right? Especially on a 3D project. So very, very easy to do it on a 3D project, add that dimension. We'll just use four of our large dimensionals. Okay, there's the front. Isn't that beautiful? And I did add a few pearls. And there's how I brought them over. I did. So just a spattering of pearls here and there on the leaves. And that adds that pretty dimension. Okay. All right. So now the, for the cards. And I kept the cards super simple. Um, very, very simple, actually. So we'll do this one first. And like I said, there are envelopes with it. Our stamping is done, which makes it so easy. And I even tied all the bows. So the bows come pre-done as well. Okay, so a couple pieces of designer paper. And I guess I'm going to do it this way. And then just a little strip. Yeah, it is a real, and you know what? I could do it that way too. But no, it's a, I think this is mint and that's pool party. So I'm gonna stick with the original plan. You might feel differently. So yeah, I just kept these cards super simple. So they were easily re replicatable. I mean, it's that kind of a tongue twister word. And again, this is that very best trio punch. You can get all kinds, couple different types of um, angles on there, um, detailed angles. Oops. Okay, here we go with an oval. I've, I've had a devil of a time with ovals, getting them straight. And you don't know it until you, until they're not straight. <laughs> That's kind of how they work. It's like it's a done deal. Then you're like, oh, that's not straight. But one of my friends, Jane, says straight is stress. 
You still have this, your textured paper too, Annette? Yeah, it was, I like it. I like having texture on my paper. So here's one of the bows. Here's the other one. Remember, ribbon and glue dots are best friends. So I always add bows with a glue dot. Just press it on there and add it to the corner. And then we'll add one of my favorite things, and that is these gold brushed butterflies. And I'll just add one of the small ones. I like that position, so right there. So that card's done. I didn't do anything in the inside. That's up to whoever is gifting the card. So then you will add, let me grab my envelope for this one. So what some people do with envelopes so they know is they put it in there like that and that just slides right in. And there's not a lot of room. That envelope barely fits in there, but you still can get two. Let me, let me show you. I'll put this other card in here as well. See, you can get two and there's still plenty of room. In fact, it fills it up even better if you did four cards than two does. So, okay, now let's make the uh, So Saffron card. Again, very, very, very simple. Kept, kept it pretty much the same. Only one is landscape and one is a portrait. So this one will be like this. And if you wanna switch your papers, you sure can. So this is So Saffron with um, Blackberry Bliss. Just a thin little strip, and I love the stripes on my my strips. I think that adds that nice little detail. And this is the decorative circle punch, and this is actually um, low low in stock, so it may run out soon. Not sure um, if they'll get it back in before, but low low inventory is what they call it. Okay, and then I just offset that. It just adds enough of a layer to add some detail. And then we'll add our ribbon, our bow again with a mini glue dot. So this is, if you join me late, this is this whole kit. I have two of them left over. This is my door prize for today, for sharing and for commenting. So be sure you get in on that before, before I draw prizes next Tuesday. And on this one, I don't know if you know we have them, but you know we have heart pearls. So this is, um, there is three types. There are, I know, the opaque and regular pearl. So there's, yeah, three different types that you can choose from. So I think I'll go with this one this time. And just do some scattered or, let's see one here and since there's a little heart there thank you with all my heart I thought that was appropriate okay I think we're done so let's get this card in the folio so isn't that isn't that a neat gift that you could give somebody so you can see there is plenty of room for another two cards we can we can pretend here uh, that one and this one and you can see that you can still tie it up with a bow and have four cards and envelopes in there and they're not a lot of layers but there's enough to make them special so yeah that is that is my folio so I will be posting this on my blog along with the uh, project sheet that you can you can share so my blog remember it's flowerbug.net you can go to my blog. Please subscribe so you can get every all the, um, the information that I share. Lots of um, great card ideas and project ideas with some free tutorials. And my videos are on there too. So thanks for the hearts. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, this will be on likely Friday uh, this week or early next week. I'm not sure because I have a lot of team swaps, which I'm going to share with you as well. But I do want to show... Now remember, that's the door prize. You can get this whole thing, this whole project sheet for sharing and commenting 
um, on my videos. So thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate you getting the word out if you enjoy my videos. Okay, the next really quick, I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to make them all. What time are we at? We're, we're doing pretty good. So I got my Saying Thanks kit in yesterday, and this is one of our kit collections. And I do want to show you that this is how many kit collection uh, items, kits, we have available on online. Now, these kits are not in any catalog. They are not available in a catalog. So it's important that you know you have to go online. Um, I guess I don't have my on my site, but it's, um, let's see, farba.net, and that'll get you there to my store. But this is called the Saying Thanks Kit. This is the Timeless Greetings. This is the Birthday Card Organizer. That is so cool, my favorite one ever. Um, for $25, you get the big organizer and nine, let's see, 12 cards and envelopes. It's like the best deal and best gift, no stamping. You can give this to somebody and they can make it themselves and they don't even have to be crafty. But what I'm sharing with you today is the same thanks kit and it's $13 for nine cards. So look, these are the envelopes. And I took just a few minutes out last night and made uh, two each of the cards. So here are, there's two of them, the thank you cards. Here, well, they're all thank you cards. Here's the polka dot cards and here's the heart cards. Aren't they cool? I just love how bright and happy and colorful they are. No stamping, no stamping at all. It's all die cuts. And now when they do die cuts, I will tell you, they offer other languages because then this goes across um, the global campaign that Stampin' Up! has. So there are three each of these, and I like to share these with my, um, I have a German friend. I don't, I don't have a French friend, um, but <laughs> you can share them with them. And they're all printed out. So for example, I think let's make the thanks one this one here because I don't know I just like this one so I'll just make one now this is how the directions come so you get this nice big picture of the finished cards and then they show you what you need and how to do your ribbon and and that so I I usually don't follow the directions honestly I just kind of wing it kind of look like okay they did ribbon and they did that and this and that and that's all I like to do I'm kind of a quick stamper and do things on my own. So. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll get my pieces out. And it comes with gems. I wonder if I still have those in here. Hmm. Well, I will find them, hopefully. Hmm. No. Okay, this is the card base I need, and this is the thing. So this is super, super simple. So what I like to do, they use, there's, um, you wouldn't have to use the tear the, the seal that I do, but I do my, my little wiggle of, of cord, and you can do kind of a faux bow. So this is kind of what they showed in their directions. And twine can be a little tricky not to um, get what they would say um, looped. So it wants to kind of loop on itself sometimes. So you might have to make it mind. And my scissors. My paper snip seems to have disappeared. There we go. There we go. And then after you put that on, you grab some of the dimensional strips that they gave you. And I, I have to cover up the, um, the, the tape runner that I put on there so it doesn't, um, doesn't stick flat. I want it to have dimension. Okay, so then you just peel those off and make sure all your... <laughs> your thread or twine is not sticking. Got to be a little careful with that. And there we go. So we got our little loops kind of hanging out. And then this is, thanks, you're the best. You can do thanks, I appreciate you. And everything is included 
and I, I will cut those edges up and use those. That is a bonus, in my opinion. Okay, I'll just peel that off and add this. I think I will add it so it catches the twine. So there we go. There's one of the cards, and this one comes pre-cut with all the little hearts. So now, and I punched out all these hearts and um, they're ready to be used on another project. So I might get a little um, creative with those, but isn't that just fun to have all these cards ready to go? It's so colorful. Yeah, so this is $13. The item number, oops, the item number, these are the little gems that I can't find. I don't know where I lost them, but they're little, square sequins that are adhesive. So, so yeah, that's what is included in the kit. And you get way more than you really need. But the item number for this is 162361. It is $13 and you get nine cards and envelopes. So I have the rest ready to make more. There's that thing and then the heart one I will use probably you're the best I have left. So yeah, that is, um, just, oh, I love our kits. They are just the best thing for easy, quick crafting that you can get done quickly. So, so yeah, um, all right, so let's put this away and then I'm gonna show you my team swaps. Oh, we had a good time on the meeting on Saturday. We swapped and, and visited and shared and played some bingo and yeah, it was fun. Okay, so I shared this one yesterday on my blog. This one was done by Mary using the So Much Love and the Country Floral Lane paper. Let's see if I can remember all these. So this one was by Paula and I believe she used the Dainty Delight to make a, a partial die cut is the technique here. And this is the new cane weave embossing folder that I love. So, um, Regency Park designer paper and the celebration set. And she added one of those cute little daisies that is in the spring catalog. They are not adhesive backed, but they, they add a lot of, they're just, they're so flat and each little daisy has a leaf. It's really cool. So Karen made this one with the um, Thanks So Much uh, celebration set with rainbow carrots. Isn't that fun? And another cane weave embossing folder. Let's see if I can show all these here. Candy made this one. She used the Easter Bunny uh, stamp set and, and bundle. It actually comes with a, a bunny punch, but she fussy cut this. She wanted the, the more detailed bunny with the belly and she added a little carrot. So super cute. And this is a book binding fold. And Roxanne made this one, and I don't remember the name of this one, um, some, something about growing, but um, it has girls facing away and a bunch of different plants. Of course, it's all about growing. And she fussy cut, she stamped the shirt on designer paper and fussy cut that and added. She stamped the pants and added that in different color. You wouldn't have had to. And then the hair, she also stamped and fussy cut. She doesn't mind a little extra work. So isn't that a cute card? And uh, Ginny made this one with the free celebration set, um, Beautifully Happy. And she added that touch of vellum that adds a softness to the card. Isn't that pretty? We forget about using vellum like that. I did this one. Ooh, that one got bent. Should have it in a sleeve. Um, this uses the Around the Bend dies. These are all from the Around the Bend dies. And this is the Fine Shimmer paper. It comes in soft succulent, gold, and oh boy, I can't remember the other color. Oh, pear, uh, Fresh Freesia. Fresh Freesia. So that is that card. Okay. Here is one made by Karen using the Delicate Desert Bundle. So pretty, so detailed. I love the distinctive stamps there. 
and Candace made this one using the Lucky Clover bundle. And she had a, has had a fire and has been out of her house and she didn't have an embossing folder. So she scored this with her score board. She turned it on the diagonal and made her own scored background. Isn't that clever? And Wink of Stella. So she, she's stamping even without her stamp room. And then Annette made this one. She, she Annette, I think you're on maybe still. She gives a calendar card every January to her friends and she used the new Friendly Gnome set. The coloring is just gorgeous and the soft sponging. So yeah, this, this is, and the gnomes, the Friendly Gnomes matches the gnomes dies that came back from the holiday catalog. So yeah, super cute. A very talented team. I love sharing their swaps with you. So yeah, I think that's all I have for now. Um, yeah, we don't forget to take advantage of celebration if you can and or the join offer, which is amazing right now. So if you've been wondering about joining and getting the starter kit, I hope you consider it. It's such a great deal. And you know, you don't even have to have your three, first $300 minimum until the end of June. And you get to take advantage of the um, ordering from the new annual catalog in April as a demonstrator and get 20% off. So yeah, it's an awesome deal. So anyway, message me. There's my email if you have any questions on that. And I will see you next week to actually Monday is my Stamp With Me live on the, what would that be? The 20, the 30th? Yeah, I think the 30th. Um, so Monday night and Tuesday morning. I will have videos next week. All right, don't forget to subscribe to my new YouTube channel under Leanne Graff so, and or my Facebook page here. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.